hello and I'm gonna show you a few things with Chitty Box. Um, it's how to print with the longer orange 10 and longer orange 30. Um, Chitty Box used to not support it, but now they do. So if you look at this form, it says, okay, this, is, this uses claws by a missing plugin. So what you're going to go do, uh, go ahead and type in this URL to get that uh, to this page. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. One thing is you have to, I don't know why, you have to, uh, go in click the file and then you have to download this so what or whatever so it's linux mac uh windows 32 bit and windows 64 bit so whatever your uh setting is but you have to actually download just your folder or if you don't, what you end up with is, sorry about my uh, million documents here. So, for some reason, so if you download just that um, and you extract that, this is what you get, the CH plugin. However, if you download the whole folder, you get this, 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 and then you get the Linux Mac. But if you extract the Windows, it doesn't give you the plugin file you want. So, yeah, just download the one file. Um, let's see, is that still downloading? So you can see it's pretty much downloading that. It might come in a uh, zipped file. All you have to do is uh, highlight it, right click, and extract all. But this is the file you want. This, uh, the CH plugin, you can move that to your desktop if you have a special place. And then what you're going to do is in shit you box. Um, you go down to the three lines help and then plugins. I already have it loaded on there, but you're going to import plugin. And then you are going to click on that file and then just hit open. And then when you're done, that should be right there. So you're all good with that. You can now slice models uh, really quickly. I'm going to show you a nice uh, Fusion 360 C or thing tip trick whatever you call it so fusion has a wonderful thing after you make your own body this is for a um drum polisher i made that uses a five five gallon bucket and this would be one of the idler police if you go up to tools make and then click on the item you want so it's going to select that idler pulley um you can select how many triangles you want i usually just do high and then output send to 3d print utility um <clears throat> if for my fdms 
I use Cura. However, and you would just hit OK and that would bring you to your FDM or Cura, of course. But if you do custom and then the application, you go, I have it on my desktop. You do chit your box. Uh, go ahead and open that or double click that. And then right here you can see application chit your box. If you hit OK, it should open up with that one model you want to print which uh, does help if you're that way you don't have to save it as a uh, mesh and then everything and one thing I really like doing this is another tip this uh flatten by face that is a very helpful tool so uh, you click it, and then you can see you get this kind of red dot with line. Anywhere I click on this face, it's going to make that the flat part. So, <coughs> or that zero, zero. So if I click up here, it should flip it just like that. Um, really quick. Go ahead and center that. So, yeah. If you click on another, so I clicked on this plane. Um, it pretty much makes this plane flat with that. So, yeah. And then, oh, duh. Double check it does work. So, let's, uh, go ahead and do that. So, I'll give you a quick peek at my settings you you want to add a printer if you do longer 3d you can select your printer I already have one and then these are the basic profiles um, I I am using translucent resin so it's actually 1.0 grams per milliliter uh, liquid and then 1.1 solid so I it doesn't really tell you what uh, density it's it wants uh, solid or liquid but those are my print settings Uh, for translucent, you usually have a little bit more on exposure time. Let's see. E infill, none, G code, you don't need anything. And advanced, that's just how it was default. So there's that. And if you hit slice, slicing, I have a pretty built computer, so my, uh, it'll probably load a lot faster than a lot of people's. So, okay, you can see dot .lgs, and let's do, just save it in documents. Without that plugin, you get a big error that says, uh, LGS files are not supported.